This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy? He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your drivers safe, boss. Bona fortuna, boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shit yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with Adon than all of you've put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. 
Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Mark up over there. Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> No, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! took a bullet. And this ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. Go, go, go! So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll just say deal with the little guy. Die! 
fight today. Got you now. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. The hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! Them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. But tonight, 
Me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet men. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything, except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. It wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened, happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. 
I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Must be nice for you, some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's better. If I knew the drive was going to be this kind of rumpus, I'd have taken the keys myself. Sorry about that. Well, that's better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Taste the cassandra, Tom. Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Don't say Eri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? Uh, see, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, Benny, Benny, Benny. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Slow them all down, Tommy. 
Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> oh, you okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Think about this now! Please! Let me talk to the bar! I can explain everything! Uh, Tommy, you gotta know! Carlo, he was gonna kill Mom! I had to do it! I had to! They made me do it, Tommy! Please! I can... Is he still alive? I'm not sure.
Now we're sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. It's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yep. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cry. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the yeah, must have figured Carlo was the right. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the th Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. True, the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson, Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. How about people under our protection? Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to buy them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morel's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their help. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ. That guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? 
Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, boosts, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a fortuna, Tom. Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You the finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? Terrence! You got an invite, too? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. Sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him.
Know you'd get a real job someday. One of his neighbors, but... So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the guy. And we could get him. Better in the mail, give me the money. Get that now. One game takes on another. Sleeping in separate rooms works for me. She snores, you know, and I feel more. I'd rather we worked in separate wings, but it works. We're happy. I agree. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure, then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come as soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Have a good time. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag? Don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate. Go someplace else. You see these guys going around last heaven? Just the way they dress, you know they're not regular guys. Gangster, right? You don't notice the stink of the city until it's probably I can find the janitor. Back in a boat. Drunk as a skunk in the engine. Same as always. Figures. Thanks. Right there? 
left it on the table for you. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. gonna do about it. Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Gotcha! Oh, ah. Jeez, that hurts. <laughs> 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 Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, Counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have another for me, huh? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming.
three. We can make it. 